So if you want to go ahead and use CJ Dropshipping with Shopify, what you're going to want to do is you have your Shopify over here. You're going to go to your apps. You're going to click on Add Apps. And here you can see CJ Dropshipping right at the top. So you're simply going to click on Install. And what that will do is it will authorize your CJ Dropshipping with your Shopify. It's going to bring the app into this section. And you're obviously going to go ahead and, uh, you know, complete the installation file and gig between these. Now, after we have done that, what that will help us do is it will give us a good idea on uh, how we're going to start a dropshipping. Obviously, you're going to want to create an account with CJ Dropshipping. Connect your dropshipping account with your Shopify account. They're going to give you a connection with it. It's pretty simple. So it's going to take you to the authorization. Just sign in with your account. And that is basically how you can use CJ Dropshipping with Shopify. Then obviously, proceeding on, you can get into the main dashboards in my CJ and start importing your accounts. But yeah. Uh, just go ahead. You can register as well with a new account and it's going to connect that account to your Shopify. So I want to start uh, an e-commerce store on Shopify. Please advise a strategy. products and marketing approach so I can be successful boom very easy very simple guys all the other case studies on my channel over here guys you need to go through each one of it okay you're gonna learn so many things about how to use AI and make tons of money okay Let's see what they actually pump this time. Great choice, Shopify, fantastic platform. Okay, product selection. Find a niche, don't try to compete with everything. Instead, find a niche market with underserved needs. Okay, we know that. Passionate, passion matters, choose products you're genuinely excited about. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Consider profitability, analyze potential. Okay, strategy, brand, identity, develop a street. This is my, this might not be what we're looking for, guys. Uh, okay, my bad. I was looking to do drop shipping. I see the version of the business with, with, without branding and this and that. The challenge, the chances things a bit uh, general, okay. New selection, okay, still. Look for products with high perceived value, low competition, and potential for recurring purchases. Consider unique items. Recurring purchases is something that I haven't heard recently. That's a good idea. For example, if you can sell something that people will be coming back and buying every week, every month. You know, you know exactly how much. It's very predictable sources of revenue or potential margin. Sounds very, very good. So inventory management, supplier selection. I have a couple of videos here on CJ dropshipping uh, tutorial guys on my channel. You want to make sure you look at them. I also have a full tutorial on Shopify, how to uh, register, how to set up your store. So you want to make sure you check the selection over here. Let's see what they advise us on marketing strategy. Social media influencers. Yeah, we know that. Pay advertising. We know that. Fresh sales and promotions. Email marketing. Additional tips. Focus on product quality. That's nothing we can actually regulate. It's coming from China. Uh, transparent communications. Be upfront about the draw your dropshipping model. Communicate with potential shipping delays. Okay, that's correct. Focus on customer service. Okay, virtual assistant meaning. Remember, success in dropshipping requires okay dedication, hard working, continuous adaptation. Well, guys, I don't think this is perfect, but I, I truly believe if we spend another maybe half an hour, 45 minutes up to an hour asking the right more niche down questions after we choose our product and niche, I believe uh, Barty I could help us and save us a lot of time. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Bart AI to make your market research to select products that you're going to sell and to create a business plan for your either e-commerce store or dropshipping business. OK, first thing I want you to go ahead, create an account and log in into Google Bart AI. When you come over here, 
You want to make sure that you give Google Bart AI most detailed and precise questions and prompts, okay? So you will get the better answers. First thing you want to say, I am looking to start an e-commerce, an e-commerce store, okay? Focused on drop shipping. Please help me research popular niches and products that are currently popular in the Google search and also uh, help me create a business plan. That's it. Let's see. We give a pretty detailed prompt. Usually Bart AI is doing a fantastic job, guys. Usually it's doing a much better job than ChatGPT and, and even the co-pilot of Microsoft in comparison. Let's see. Hot niche is over here, guys, for dropshipping in 2020 for, for free. Eco-friendly products, bamboo straws, reusable water bottles, organic loading, trending, home and garden products for improving comfort of the organization like ergonomic furniture, smart home gardens, health and wellness, fitness trackers, yoga mats, meditation apps, pet supplies, high quality toys, tech gadgets, funny trending products, Google Trends. So according to Google Trends, utilize Google Trends to... Uh, business plan no i want more specifics can we get more specific about the data from google trends can we that's the question over here guy absolutely to narrow down the google trends research i need some additional information what interests you with the hot niches mentioned, for example, are you more drawn to the sustainable fashion? Nope. I would uh, look for simple, small, I would say gadgets or tools. Let's see. We're looking for something small, easy shipping, guys, easy returns. Uh, you know, everything will be much easier. Trading gadgets and tools. Okay, we have a cable wraps. We have charging docks, portable phone stands, wireless earbuds, cleaning kits, kitchen gadgets, avocado slicer, egg yolk. That's very good, guys. That's very, very good. It's just We just type like maybe four or five different prompts and we, we end up with exact match of, of our search queries, right? And this is based on Google Trends. This is not coming from, you know, anonymous website or something. So obviously it is possible. And I also going to give them uh, eight stars out of them, the best performing AI chatbot over here so far, guys. Please make sure to check out my other videos on Copilot and on, on uh, Bing AI chat. We did some very nice experiments in case that is about the business. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to go through what is TikTok shop, how you can make money with it, how much money you can make with it, what are the requirements, how you could apply and essentially, is it actually worth it? Let's dive in. First thing, we want to launch the TikTok app. When you're at your account, I want you to go ahead and click on the upper right corner where you see the three straight lines. When you have this pop-up menu, I want you to click on the first option, which is creator tools. This is where the magic happens. There is a special menu over here, it's called monetization. And I want you to scroll through the section that is called Tic Tac Shop. There is a two different shops. One is for creator and the other one is for seller. Essentially, the first one over here is if you wanna make money as an affiliate. Uh, in this particular example over here, you can earn a commission with Tic Tac Shop affiliate 
you can simply link a products from other people's uh you know stores for example you're making content about let's say running or gym right and there are people who are selling gym equipment or selling gym uh, clothes or gym supplements right and you can essentially go and under your videos you can tag their products you can put your products their products into your account so when people shop from your account you can simply earn commission in this particular example uh, the requirements and the eligibility stands that first of all your account should not be posting anything that is against uh, the TikTok community guidance. Uh, you should have over 5,000 followers, which is half of the requirements for creativity program beta, which I believe, guys, is very, very possible. And of course, you should be at least 18 years old, which again is very, very easy. I think this, uh, it's, a, it's a good program. I have another TikTok account. I have over 70,000 followers on the other one. Uh, I've listed plenty of items, so honestly, guys, I haven't sold anything. So I don't know, maybe my items are too expensive or maybe the niche, it's different. So you want to make sure you list items that are very, very reliable to your audience, right? Don't list like, a, uh, you know, musical instruments or something if, if your page is not for, you know, musicians. The second uh, shop over here, guys, is for uh, sellers. Essentially, this is your creator. And instead of you selling other people's gym equipment or gym clothes, you, you're selling your own. So let's say you found someone in China or elsewhere who can, you know, manufacture a large amount of, of goods and can ship the goods and has a facility and, you know, can expedite uh, and ship all the items. Essentially over here, you create your own account. And this is for... Uh, you know, US only simply because I am from the US, but uh, you can essentially switch to other countries. And currently, this is what is available. Uh, you have Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, uh, Singapore, and United Kingdom. Uh, probably it will be uh, rolling over in other countries as well. Uh, very important over here is that you, you know, should have your TikTok uh, business account to log in over here. So you need to have a separate login simply because this is going to show you your you know analytics of your business analytics of of your own uh, performance you could essentially click uh, sign up with your tiktok account but you're still going to have a separate note and again as you can see the examples people tend to uh, make more money if they're selling something that they are very very good at so usually, as we see over here, they're selling cosmetics, they're selling makeups. Uh, I don't know why it's only <laughs> women's on the example, but uh, there's uh, some success stories. Someone who, who, who got over 1.5 million uh, views and, you know, he had 15,000 orders and he made uh, live, we're talking about live sales, over $350,000. Again, this is sales, guys. This is not profit, again. Uh, this is just the revenue. Uh, I think it's it's worth trying, especially if you are like this one of these creators who are uh, really making uh, tutorials about how you know to do makeup, how to you know lose weight, how, something that is connected with activity that people can really you know see you trying it or see you using it, so you will be able to sell more. All we gotta do is to sign up over here, and this is how it works, guys. Essentially, uh, it will take time for uh, TikTok to, uh, you know, to process your request. And essentially, when you sign up, uh, TikTok will uh, generate your account and will be able to create a new spreadsheet where you should agree to the terms and, and conditions. And then you can proceed and, and start uh, working towards. The process of approval, uh, they're going to send you, uh, you know, two to six days after they review your application. Uh, also, then you, then you have to link your original TikTok account. Like I mentioned, there is a split in between. So you will be able to get verified and, you know, start showing the content uh, during your live streams. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In this video, we're going to go over the new BART AI prompts. In this particular example, we're going to use BART to help us to build an e-commerce brand, something probably related to dropshipping 
or an original brand with original label. In previous videos, if you saw my channel, we tested BART for using the settings, Google Maps, using for recipes, using for building resumes. You want to make sure you check out the other videos as well. Let's jump onto this example over here. So first of all, you want to scroll down and go to the prompt section and let's click on the prompt. In our example today, we are going to ask Bart to help us to build an e-commerce store. So let's jump in. I want to build an e-commerce store on, let's say, eBay or Etsy. Please suggest uh, trending products I can sell. I can sell and marketing strategy strategies. Let's see what are the basics according to Google Bart on this topic and how they can actually help us, right? It was very helpful with the maps. Okay, choosing the platform and training products to sell online requires some initial research. Okay, platforms, eBay. Okay, so Bart AI generates information from Wikipedia over here. We see the logo. It gives you some pinpoints and main difference between Etsy and eBay, right? You will compete with established sellers and lower priced items. Focus on unique or hand to find products in complete competitive pricing. Okay, so eBay, according to uh, Bart, it gives us like very good due diligence saying that, you know, if you choose eBay, you're going to compete with very, very strong competition. People who are selling at cheap, right? So we all know where is the competition. Uh, usually it's harder to make money. The market is usually saturated. Let's see what Bart AI is saying about Etsy. According to Bart AI, ideal for handcrafted and vintage items. Stand out with high quality photos, detailed description and strong brand identity. Trending products. So, okay, that's good. That's like, we just got like a, like a research for dropshipping, right? Essentially, just with one prompt. How amazing Bart is, right? In comparison with ChatGPT. Okay, trending products. Once you choose the platform, explore sustainable and eco-friendly products, reusable water bottles, bamboo utensils, upcycled clothing, okay. Personalized items. So we got one recommendation, which is very generic, obviously for eBay, and it gave us a, a recommendation for handcraft or, or something that is customizable, that is like perfect for Etsy, right? As you can see, juries, uh, with custom engraving, phone cases, printed photos, pet accessories. Okay, comfort and wellness products, candles, diffusers, blankets, cushions. Interesting. Tech accessories, wireless chargers, phone stands, portable seekers. I want to go one step ahead and make things a little, a little more interesting. Let's ask, can you give me information from Google Trends about most searched products so far for 2024. Now things get a little complicated. Let's see how the BART is going to get over the challenge. Okay, we do get some results. Wow, it's still early in 2024. Google Trends does offer some interesting insights into the most search products. Okay, guys, we're, we're getting ahead of the competition. That this is why you have to follow and subscribe to the channel. You just, you just learn something very easy for free that you, you probably it will cost you hours and hours and hours to learn about okay let's see here is the glimpse based on various regions and categories this is the global category okay air purifiers okay sustainable and eco-friendly products okay the reusable water bottle we saw that 
smart home devices. The popularity of the smart home technology continues to grow with searches and devices like thermostats, lightning systems, doorbell seeing significant increase. Gaming, laptops and consoles. With the release of new consoles, more powerful laptops. Searches for these products are particularly high among younger demographics. Okay, guys, now we're getting into the most important part, the United States searches, okay? Peloton bikes. This is surprising. We all know Peloton, uh, it's down big time. The stock has lost 80% of its value. So let's see. Despite facing some challenges in recent months, Peloton bikes remain a popular search item in US. This suggests continued interest at home fitness solutions, which is cool. Electric vehicles, people are looking to buy Tesla or Ford. Uh, as you can see, this is among the most searched brands. Travel, after two years of pandemic restrictions, people are eager to travel again. Searches for flights, hotels and vacation rentals are and seeing significant increase in the US. Amazing, we're having UK as well. Let's let's see the UK. The cost of living in UK. UK is facing a cost of living crisis with rising prices of wood. So this, everything is a problem over here, guys. You need to think about solutions that you can provide or turn into a business ideas. Very easy. Queen Elizabeth II. Okay, taking place in June 2024 and already generating a lot of interest. Searches for related products like like uh, like mugs. Uh, okay, some like merchandise. Okay, gardening. Okay, this looks cool. Gardening remains a popular post time in the UK and searches for related products like seeds, tools and plants are steadily increasing. You know what this means, right? All my UK friends now can be looking into capitalizing on some drop shipping seeds, tools and plants for gardening. As you saw over here, guys, it is very easy. It takes just a couple of seconds. All we gotta do is to pull up the right prompts and have a good ideas. This is how simple it is to extract information and utilize part AI. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more. Also hit the like button, guys.